So we have our server up and running. So it's time to create a client application that we are going to send requests to the server. For this, I'll cd into the client folder in our workspace and create a main.go file similar to what we did on the server. I'll begin by adding some of the dependencies that I know I'll be using, and then we can start implementing this main function. Similar to the server, we'll parse the ADDR variable. From the client's perspective, this ADDR will be the host and port of the server that this client will be talking to. And if this variable does not exist, we'll try reading it from an environment variable. And if we still cannot find it for whatever reason, we'll default to trying to listen to localhost 8123. Again, similar to server, we'll use insecure credentials because we need to install and configure Spire to establish a end-to-end -end MTLS connectivity, and we are not there yet. And similar to what we did on server again, I'll add a note here so that when the time comes, we can revisit this to-do item and establish secure connectivity on the client as well. The rest of the code is typical gRPC. We create a client by dialing to the server at this address. Also, don't forget to defer closing the client as a good practice. Then we'll initialize the client and we are going to send a request to the server every 10 seconds inside an infinite loop. So the only thing missing is to implement this send request function. So let's get down to it. So the send request function will take a context and a greeter client as arguments and we'll call the say hello method of our gRPC client and pass this peer object to the method, which we hope this peer object will be initialized once a response comes back from the server, but we'll see that later. Also, we'll do some rudimentary error handling and then print the response that came from the server here. But again, we don't know who our peer is. We don't have a concept of an identity. So our peer, which is the server, is anonymous. It's unknown, which we'll again fix that later. But for the time being, we'll use this unknown server as an identity of the server. We'll again create a hack build SH and I'll be lazy and just paste the same script from the server since how we build the code is practically identical between the client and the server application. Also a minor fix here to resolve this dependency path. And that's it. When we run the build script, we have a client binary that we can run. And when we run the client, we have a minor issue here because since the client is listening on port 8123 and the server is serving at port 8080, they don't see each other. So I'll be lazy and I'll just update the server code and rebuild it to make these ports identical. And when we rerun the server, the client and the server start begin chatting with each other like forever. Although there's just one thing that I forgot. I forgot to pass the name parameter to the server in part of the gRPC payload. And that's why there is this empty string here. So I'll fix that real quick. I'm going to pass my name as part of the hello request. Then I'm going to rebuild and restart the server and the client. And now we can see the name argument of the gRPC payload gets passed to the server as well. And we can see it displayed by saying hello to me. And that's how to create an insecure gRPC connection between two parties. There is nothing specific to Spire so far. We'll come to that real soon. But before that, we should bundle these bad boys and put them into containers, inside pods, inside clusters to make them cloud native, you know. And that's exactly what we'll do in the next video. So see you there.